Hello everybody, my name is Bowen and I'm here to show you how to fill out some forms with Keyboard Maestro and more specifically how to create a YouTube description template. So if you look over here, you'll see the learning objectives for this episode. We'll be talking about Google Chrome Actions, we'll be talking about how to work with text fields, menus, and checkboxes. So let's get started. Command N to make a new macro and title of it you like. I'll be calling it the YouTube description template and open up our actions. And since all of our actions are in the category Google, Google Chrome control, we can just go there. So whenever you are working with text fields, you want to select the set Google Chrome field to text, drag that in and make sure you have the tab that you're working in in front. Then click on the Google Chrome menu here and then select title because that's the first one we'll be filling in copy paste that and paste that in and I think this is a good time now to put in our our prompt action so we want a prompt for user input right there and we can just no let's paste in our title again there we go and this is where we can add the variable title so this is the main thing that changes for me in my template, which is the title here. So we can go to edit, insert token variable and title Add a little space there. All right. So that's our title and we can copy and paste that for our description, change that to our description, and then we can copy and paste all that and you can add variables wherever you need them and then let's move on to our our tag form here and since this is not a standard a standard text form we're gonna have to separate our actions so let me show you how to do it go back to google chrome control and we want to select the uh, select google chrome field and then we also want to go to our favorites or all actions and search for the insert text right there there we go and select our tag form and since not all of the forms are you know described accurately like here it doesn't have a description sometimes you might have to go in and do a little bit of trial and error and select the let's see the google focus uh, focus google chrome field and just go through one by one until you get the form that you want but our tag form here is 2.5 so select that and you can insert text here copy that and paste in your tag template there and next is our menus so we want to do the uh, privacy menu here so we want to do it manually as well so you want the you don't want select but you want to be focusing on the google chrome field drag that in and this is where you want to focus it on the go scroll down, go down, down. There we go. On the privacy, it's like that. And this is where we want to do a quick little record here. Hit the record button. Make sure you have it selected. There we go. And now this is where we do it manually, and that is not manually, but using the keyboard. Hit space, and normally it's uploaded as private. So I push up once, twice, space again. And you hit that and I can delete these ones. And whenever you use the keyboard to navigate through pop-up menus, you want to have a pause after the first space action. So then you can search for the pause here and drag that in, put it right there. And you just need a 0.1 for it. Now let's move on to our checkboxes. Open it up again, go to Google, Google Chrome Control, and then you want set Google, Google Chrome checkbox. Drag it to the bottom there. And then if you want to share to Google Plus, select that and give it a try. You can see here that the checkbox for this has not been checked. And let me undo that. So you can see that everything works when I try it out. So all you have to do now is set your trigger. So go back to the top here, new trigger, hotkey trigger, 
and not that one. We'll actually F10. Okay, let's hit cancel. So let's go back to our Google Chrome here and clear everything out as if we first uploaded it. Change it to private. All right, so let's hit F10. Give it the title and call it whatever for now. And there we have it. It has updated our title with our with our title variable and filled in all the other information. So there you have it. That's how you fill out forms with Keyboard Maestro. And if you want to see your workflow automated, post a comment and you just might see it next time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then.